What's up everybody? Uh, welcome back to Jibby Golf. Uh, figured I'd do a little video on how much did I exactly spend on golf in 2023. Uh, this hobby replaced my car hobby pretty much completely. So I haven't even considered getting back into cars since I started golfing. And really the first day of this year where I knew it was going to be my hobby and it was going to take over everything was my first golf outing actually. And I went to Iron Horse with a couple of my buddies in uh, Leewood, Kansas and had a couple great shots and everything, but I realized how important it was to be outside and get exercise and do those kind of things as well. And I saw an opportunity to keep myself from staying inside on the weekends and waiting to get enough money or working to get more money to buy car parts, blah, blah, blah. I had something I can just go do and enjoy myself and it's not gonna break the bank like the cars were doing. So anyways, um, I'm gonna show you kind of where everywhere I went here. So I'm gonna grab the camera. And as you can see, I've got a collection of scorecards here. So I uh, ended up visiting 20 different courses over the course of this year. For some reason I thought it was a little more than that, but yeah, 20 courses to be exact. Um, there are some missing scorecards and everything here, but yeah, it was a great year. Uh, you can see that the hobby really kicked in, but what I want to show you here is I kept a record of everything I did. So there's that first visit at Iron Horse with my buddies uh, who I played with. So I played with Zim and Spencer. Um, you know, I rated all the courses and like kind of also didn't isolate the course, but how the day went too with my rating. So most of it is, I would say 90% of my rating is course relevant but about 10% was also kind of geared into how the day was going and everything too so anyways uh, you know after that first outing got addicted and Spencer and I were like hey let's get better and went out to Minor Park we kind of consider that our local park um, kind of our home park and from there it just went crazy visit Grand Summit Teetering Rocks Falcon Valley Hillcrest Falcon Lakes a couple more minor visits all of that was all Kansas City stuff and then uh, I actually got the boys to come to my hometown. So Spencer, Zim, Clint, Sam all came and uh, traveled for two and a half hours to come to my hometown of Heston and played that course with me. It was so much more pure than I imagined. Uh, I don't remember it being in the tip top shape that it was in. It was actually quite phenomenal. Then I did some other uh, stuff in Kansas City, you know, Burning Tree, Fred Arbonas, Unity Village. Um, Sycamore and Shoal Creek, those were fantastic courses. Um, very pure, you know, well kept, everything's groomed, no trash tea boxes or nothing. And then, yeah, we went to Cuba Lakes, which was in the middle of Missouri, nowhere, um, when we were going to our float trip, so we played there. And then closed it out with a few more, so uh, Country Creek with Spanny Blue Springs, Os Osawatomi, Canyon Farms, Royal Meadows, and Mules. National, so that was a lot of fun um, and then I even had a tally of the additional visits I had to other so minor park I went there five additional times on top of the times that are not written down right here and I also went to unity at an additional time and Grand Summit an additional three times so yeah that kind of totals up the visits here so what I'm gonna do is grab the sum of the dollars I've spent just on the outings so all the way up here to Sycamore Ridge, I was at $761 for the year uh, spent just on green fees. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of these up and that way we can get a green fees total. Okay, so after adding everything up together, we spent $1,600 in 2023 on just green fees. Yeah, got a little carried away there, didn't I? But, make things even worse, let's see what else I spent. I got golf clubs, got the triple diamond I bought, bought a pyramid putter and some bomb tech wedges. That came out to about 820 bucks. Then all the money I spent on golf apparel. So I got all the bad birdie stuff, Under Armour shoes, Adidas belt, good good polo and Q-zip, and then the Primo joggers. Spent an additional $863. Yeah, so with Green fees, golf clubs, and golf apparel. I think we came to a total of $3,200 or something. Oh, 
Wow. Golf is a, it's a serious hobby, I guess. I didn't think it would get this deep, but I was warned. I didn't listen. Here I am. So, guys, take it from me. This is serious. I mean, if you start golfing, don't expect to have any money. Like, nothing. Because, uh, yeah, that's not all I spent. 33290 that was the green fees, the apparel, the golf clubs. Yeah, and if you know me, I'm Mr. All In. Let's go see where the rest of the money went. What have we here? Oh, not only that, but you spent $10,000 on a golf simulator? Are you absolutely mental? Golly, like what am I doing? One year in, and I just think I have to risk it all. And it is 100% worth it. Got a Foresight Sports Sim in a box, and I could not be happier. I'm playing golf in the winter when it's warm. Got a nice GC3, ball enabled. I'll get the club head data later when I actually know how to read it. But I'm having an absolute blast, y'all. Here's where the paradigm, paradigm. I had some old clubs. This is just old stuff. It's just kind of that set of clubs that you get when you're just starting out. This is the first year I got after it, for real. So, um, I don't really have great clubs. Just my, just my paradigm. I mean, these wedges are pretty decent. Not on the biggest fan on the pyramid yet. I think it's just kind of special for, you know, people that kind of push and pull putts and are just trying to hit it straight. I kind of prefer something a little different for me. But, yeah. It's been a year, y'all. By the way, all this stuff came with this uh, sim in a box. So you got the screen and the side mats, fiber mat, got the GC3 launch monitor, the PC, the projector, the keyboard, the mouse, the stand. All that came in the sim in the box. One big box. Got everything. Anyways, if y'all thought this was a good video, please like, please subscribe. It helps so much for me to make more content. I don't get too motivated too often. But if you like it, comment and all that stuff, I'll keep showing you all what's up. So anyways, I appreciate y'all. Take it easy.